So Christmas is one week away, and as many people prepare to get together with family and friends to celebrate, COVID is still a big concern here in Arizona as hospital beds continue to run low. Tonight, we have team coverage breaking down the latest data. Nicole Grigg is digging into the potential impact of surgery restrictions at Valley Hospitals. But first data analyst Garrett Archer is showing us how this year compares to last year. Last year, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, Arizona's COVID-19 pandemic spread rapidly. So far this year, things have been very different. Let's take a look. This chart compares the seven-day average of COVID-19 cases from Thanksgiving to today in both 2020 and 2021. As you can see, numbers were almost identical on that day. But while cases in 2020 rose 70% by Christmas Day, 2021 remains flat. Here's another way of looking at it. The growth rate over a 14 day average again in 2020 cases were all gas and go with an 80% growth rate 2021 only 20% at the time, but we are now seeing almost no growth rate at all. Obviously, this is a good thing, but even more so now because Arizona's hospitals are already strained, reporting that they are more than 95% full. They only ever reached about 92% full during the height of last winter's pandemic. So now to the big variable in all of this, and that's the Omicron variant. Only 15 sequences in Arizona as of today, but data does suggest that the rate of growth is much faster than Delta. It's too early to tell how it will eventually impact COVID-19 hospitalizations and deaths, but what is clear is that Arizona's hospitals are at capacity. This is a look inside the numbers. I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.